All right, uh, let's look at the homework 7.2, problem number 10. All right, so we want to find the volume of the uh, solid uh, obtained by rotating the region bounded by uh, y equals 3 sine of x and y equals 0, which is the uh, x-axis, and between pi over 2 and pi, and rotate it about the x-axis. All right, so let's uh, draw a picture first. All right, so we have uh, uh, x-axis and the y-axis. Right, and uh, here's the origin. All right, so sine uh, three sine of x is just a sine curve, so it's going to go up and down. And I believe that uh, here is uh, pi over two, and right here is pi. So we are talking about um, the region. Uh, starting from pi over 2 under the curve of 3 sine of x and ends at uh, x equals pi. So we're talking about uh, this region. And uh, we are rotating this region about the x-axis. Right? So we are uh, rotating about the x-axis. So it's going to go like that. All right? So uh, you can see that the, the region uh, we're uh, looking at is going to be, uh, let's see, so it's going to look like that. And I'm going to put the dotted uh, uh, circle there. Then here, it's probably it's going to look like that, All right? So I'm going to draw an um, approximating disk. So this is going to be a disk method. So I'm going to take uh, x, right? Then here is the approximating disk. All right, so we're talking about uh, that guy right there. So, all right. So uh, volume, so let's set it up. Volume V is equal to right disk method so you have a pi here and the region uh, starts from uh, pi over 2 and ends at um, uh, pi right and then we need uh, a radius squared right so in this case radius uh, radius is just uh, uh, distance between the x-axis to the the graph of uh, a 3 sine of x so this is going to be just a 3 sine of x right there. So this is a 3 sine of x. So we have uh, pi r squared, so 3 sine of x squared. And then we're doing that with respect to x. All right. So uh, uh, 3 squared is just a number, so I'm going to put it outside. So it's going to 3 squared would be 9, so it's 9 pi. Then we have an integral from uh, pi over 2 to pi. Then we have a sine squared of x with respect to x. Right? Then using the um, uh, trig identity, uh, sine squared of x is uh, 1 half 1 minus cosine 2x. So 1 over 2, so I'm going to put the 9, oh, 9 pi, 9 pi over 2. And the integral from uh, pi over 2 to pi, right? So it's going to be 1 minus cosine of 2x with respect to x, all right? Then we just have to uh, integrate it from there. So you have a nine pi over two, right? Antiderivative of one is x, right? Antiderivative of negative cosine of two x is negative sine of two x 
over 2. Then we're evaluating from pi over 2 to pi. All right, so we have uh, 9 pi over 2. All right, let's plug in pi. So it's pi minus uh, sine of 2 pi is 0, so it's 0, minus plug in pi over 2, so pi over 2, and minus uh, sine of 2 times uh, pi over 2, so sine of pi is actually 0. All right, so we have, um, this is going to give us uh, 9 pi over 2 times pi minus pi over 2. So this is another pi over 2. So it's uh, 9 pi squared over 4. All right, so that is the volume of the solid. All right, so let's type it in. We got uh, uh, 9 pi squared uh, over, uh, uh, let's see, what was it, 4? Over 4. All right, so submit for testing. All right, it came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.